the boys. Um, I know I didn't bring the heat with that one, but uh, you know, for those of you who are just joining, who might not follow us on shows on our social media, or who probably doesn't keep up with us or anything like that of that magnitude, or if you're just now joining us, um, you know, we had something sudden happen last week. <sighs> Our boy Matt Neely, he passed away. Um, it was sudden. And for those of you who don't know Matt, Matt was our social content guy, our social media guy, who our behind the scenes guy who put clips together, who does all the captioning, who does everything you see out there about busting with the boys. Matt handled that for us. And, um, you know, death is hard, man. And it's been a shock to the boys, it's been a shock to the community. And, uh, you know, there's been a, been a lot of homage, a lot of um, support, a lot that has been made of, of this that has been awesome to see. People rallying on social media. Amy, the owner of the Titans, made a statement. The Titans community mourns. Uh, fuck, the boy, I had a hard fucking cry the day after just because, you know, you, you, you talk to so few people on an everyday basis. You know, um, and I was fortunate enough to go grow close to Matt. And, uh, you know, I told him this one day. Um, he was making fun of one of my <laughs> one of my speeches at my birthday party. And because I had a lot of new faces there, a lot of old faces. And, um, you know, something that I wanted to mention that fortunately I was able to mention to him on the side. And that's, uh, you know, you can meet somebody today or tomorrow that have better intentions for you than people you've known for a lifetime. And, you know, time means nothing. Character does. And I truly appreciated the friendship I built with them. And, uh, you know, I wanted him to know that, you know, he meant a lot to me. And he had a tremendous impact on myself and a lot of people out there uh, with his trolling attitude, his fun attitude, everybody knows. Maddie wanted to make humor a light of any situation, whether it be at the expense of him, his um, self-deprecating humor. He wanted everything to be a gif. He wanted everything to be a movie scene. Um, you know, people know him a lot for his Titan fandom. He's like the super fan. And everyone, you know, knows that no Titans game will ever be the same. Um, also, you know, there won't, be a, there won't be a Titans game without Matt Neely. And his shirts will be everywhere. His legacy will live on through Twitter, through people shotgunning, you know, seltzers or beers. Like everyone knows he woke up and was ready to chug a beer for the Titans. Um, people paying homage in the parking lots for him. People always mentioning him and adding him on Twitter. Um, he, shoot, he's got a picture hanging up in the stadium right now with his old free Lawan shirt on. Uh, he cared so much about the pod, man. And... You know, I'm sure there will be a photo or something that hangs and lives in the Titan Stadium forever. And as hard and as sad as that is to to say and know, um, everyone knows Matt's obnoxious ass would would absolutely trade anything for that kind of legacy. And I think he would be damn proud to see the impact he's made on people. And, um, you know, as, as cliche as it is to say, uh, you know, people people end up forgetting what you say to them. People forget, you know, uh, what you did for them. But people always remember how you made them feel. And I feel like the support and the reach and the impress, like just everything that you're seeing on social media, is a reflection of this of the impact Matt made on this community, the impact he's made on us at Bustin' with the Boys. And everyone overall, man, and uh, I miss the boy. I miss him hard. I love you, Maddie. Um, your legacy will definitely live on through this podcast, man. And thank you, everybody, for the tremendous support. Um, we have a shirt right now on hang10.com, H-A-N-G-T-N.com, where you can buy uh, For the Boy uh, Neely 69 on the back on the front it says for the boy 100% of proceeds are going to the family you know to help pay for everything 
and to give to the family. We've raised over $20,000. It's been tremendous. We've sold like a thousand shirts already. And again, 100% of proceeds are going to the family. I'm in help in helping out with them. You can buy those on hangtn.com. We hope you're wearing them to the tailgate this weekend. We're going to have a tailgate. It's free. More details to come this week. You got to follow us. On, you can follow us on social media, Bus and WTB, um, to kind of keep updated and stay updated. But we're going to have a tailgate this week, free. We're going to have a wake in Matt's honor, a celebratory tailgate where we just have fun, enjoy each other's company. Everything's surrounded for the boy, and you know he would love that. You know he he would absolutely love that. And you know we'll do a shotgun salute. We'll we'll do everything to honor Matt Neely. So, you know, keep up with us there. We'll keep you updated. Um, also, you know, to change it up a little bit, we is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, we have new shirts. As you can see, I'm wearing this pink shirt that says uh, "For the Girls." If you're not for the girls and you're against them, so you can buy those at on hang, on hang10.com as well. Uh, awesome shirts, man. Proceeds are going to uh, breast cancer, and uh, so we're raising money for that, making some cool shirts, S spotlighting the girls because we do. We have a a building female fan base that's proud to kind of be in our fan base, and you know we don't want to we don't want to neglect the following we have there, and we want to raise awareness and raise money, and we're for the girls just as much as we are for the boys. Um, so you can get that. Also, a reminder about the pod. <sighs> These podcasts are backlogged. They're in a library, and every pod we release, you know, aside from the Spooktober one that you've heard and the Depression one, they're all backlogged. They're all in a library. They they were done before the season. Every one that the boy Taylor was in, it was before the season. You know, a lot of people lash out. They love to emotionally react right away, and if the Titans lose, they're ready to tell. The boy to hey, focus on this, focus on that, and just, you know, it's just say some ignorant shit. And uh, people need to know that Taylor have nothing. Taylor has nothing to do with the pod in season. Um, I make, I make these decisions, or I'm the one that does everything for the podcast. Our team does everything for the podcast. The boy is 100%, 1,000% focused on ball, and that's all he cares and focuses about. Um, so, just again, a reminder: these pods were shot before the season. And, you know, it's something we're stepping out of the zone and kind of doing, and it's definitely different. And we're, you know, it's just, just is what it is. But we had a really fun one with uh, Kyle Vinoy. And before we get into that, we got to ultimately say thank you to our sponsors. Huge thank you to Hunter Briley and Regal Realty. Regal Realty Group, they're in Nashville. You can find them on regalrg.com. And the head guy there, Hunter Briley, his personal is 615-630. 9735. That's his personal cell number. Give him a shout. Tell him the boys sent you. He'll hook it up. You're, I'm telling you, concierge service. He, he hooks up. He takes care of you. He knows his reputation is on the line with us every time somebody talks to him. If you're not a phone guy and you want to feel him out, shoot him a text. Say, hey, Hunter, what's up, man? The boys sent me. Here's what I'm looking at, whether it be residential, commercial, or um, investment. I'm into investment, so I talk to him all the time about stuff. Um, he wheels and deals, man. He works hard for his customers. So thank you to Regal Realty. He's, he puts on the tailgates for us. He's been an MVP for us. Huge thank you to them. Also, big thank you to um, Anheuser-Busch, our big our big wig sponsor. You got Budweiser. You got Natty Light. You got these Natural Light Seltzers that we're all about. Hashtag and don't give a. Guys, flood our mentions. Show us your pictures with your Natty Light Seltzers. Um, hashtag don't give a because we want to start putting you guys on the videos and start putting our fan engagement and incorporate you guys on the videos so you can see that you're part of the boys. We want to put you on the videos. We want to engage. We want to have fun. That's all this pod's about, man, is engaging with you guys, giving you access, behind the scenes, look at everything and just have fun, give some insight and just enjoy ourselves and have a good time. Raise a little, you know, again, have fun. But Aloha Beaches, Catalina Lime Mixer, you got 6% alcohol. Get, you know, get where you're going faster. Enjoy these things, man. Again, flood our mentions. Take pictures. We want to put you on there. Um, hashtag don't give a, all that good fun stuff. Guys, Kyle Vinoy, he was a stud. For those who don't know Kyle Vinoy, he is a linebacker for the Patriots. Huge stud for the boys. The boy actually scored a touchdown last week. 
Shout out, Vinoy. Um, they're fucking undefeated right now. The goddamn Patriots. They win every goddamn year, and I'm kind of sick of it. But the boy is successful as hell. We loved having him on the podcast. Uh, he was drafted in the second round in 2014. He's a two-time Super Bowl champ, so we get to talk to him about his Super Bowl runs. Uh, we get to talk to him about playing with the GOAT, Tom Brady. We get to talk about his story. It, we had a lot of fun. Dude's a very insightful. Dude's a very funny cat. Sorry for the disrespect. I'll put it on silent. Um, he's got a YouTube channel that you guys can follow. Um, dude is super engaging with his audience on social media. You can follow him at like, fuck, I don't know. Type in Kyle Vinoy. Find him on Twitter and Instagram. Super engaging with his audience. He, it's it's awesome. It's awesome to watch. He's got a YouTube channel called, uh, what's it called? Vibing with the Vinoys. He's also got a show that's called Elite Eats where he goes around and eats at certain spots around Boston, I assume. But he's always giving away tickets to games. So if you're a Pats fan and you want to, you know, get in or running for tickets, free tickets to games, he always he's always giving away tickets. Uh, so go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Go follow the boy. Um, you know, this is an awesome podcast. Uh, you guys are going to get a lot out of it. We had a lot of fun. Again, it was done before the season, before, you know, these intros are shot currently just to keep you guys updated, but these episodes are backlogged. Um, we have a lot of fun, though, so without further ado, you know, we're dropping this Vinoy episode. This one is definitely for the boy, Matt Neely. We love you. He couldn't wait to drop this episode. He wanted to drop the Ernest K one so bad because that was the funniest to him. He wanted to drop the Vinoy one right after that. He thought this one would be the banger, and he was, you know, Super excited when I gave him the green light to work on the Vinoy episode. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, again, the boy, Kyle Vinoy. Drop the hook. Yo, why is this, why is this staying like so far away? It was my fault. Well, actually, I didn't do that one today. Blossy. Was same, that Bloss? That's the same way. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't yell. No need to yell. <laughs> don't you don't you fucking raise your voice on this bus, dude. Don't you raise your fucking voice, dude. <laughs> hey, the way... the only way that uh, the head or the fucking mic can stay out of his face. Yeah. Bloss, please, profanity. <clears throat> yeah, the boy. I haven't seen this guy in a month or what, three weeks? Yeah, it's been a minute, dude. Are we on Any right off day or that like... Where have you cool. been? Chilling, dude. He's been oh. on this bus. He's been sleeping. <laughs> hey, don't don't sleep sit there and the say bus, sleep, man. dude. I fucking had conditioning this morning. This morning, you ain't, you ain't conditioning. What'd you do? Yes, dude. I I did uh, a couple gassers. No, I had I had lateral speed day. A lot of your uh -huh. dodge, a lot of three cone. You know the one I would beat you in. I was like, oh, you know the boys got a little. <laughs> Listen, and yeah, then, he, and then yeah, Tabata. So Will, Will and a, I. Will, Will let I, me finish. Yeah, and Tabata, we got it. So Will, Will would uh. <laughs> the assault bike. You know those things are a beast. I don't, I don't do those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Will. He's never mind. You know I'm gonna leave that. No, one. I know. I know. Will. He's got. Just Will and like I would do this drill. Does his workouts. Okay. Well, oops. I do. Oops. Welcome back, Will. Oops. Um. Will and I would do this drill where we'd go like three yards, four yards, five yards. It'd be co the cones. Mm -hmm. And you go down and back, down and back, down and back. And they would say the numbers. <laughs> well, how much do you weigh? 227 right now? Yeah. <laughs> 235. You're not 235. 235. He's 227. And, and it's kind of sad because he's bragging. He's yeah, beating. and I'm I wasn't pounds. bragging. You were. I, I, I gave him a compliment. He barely beats me and he goes, he, he gets his little stride off and he goes, whoo. <laughs> Man, you're pretty fast. I'm really good at those. Yeah. That was his flex on me. But I'm literally almost 100 pounds more than you. Fast forward to the locker room. We go in the locker room. We get towels. He's like, he's like, hey man, what was that out there? <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't disrespect <laughs> I like, what are you my talking voice, about? bro. He's do like, not disrespect yeah, my when voice. When you're like, I'm pretty fast. You're pretty good at those. Like, you don't, you don't have to do that. I was like, oh my bad, dude. I, I, I hate when this he is lined is up today. Fast on screens, though. He I'll is. He is fast. He that. is fast. He's, he's, kinda, he's one of them linemen that like he. He's like, I would put them in the pouncy category when they like get out in the open. Yeah, they think they're running with the ball. Like, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Follow we do. Me, no question. <laughs> follow with follow me. With the Everything wind. is they literally, right. yeah. yeah. With the I'll wind. be the one to tuck you in at. That's what I. That's what I think to myself and when I'm you, running. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Dude, yeah, I like to get out there. I like to run a little bit. Yeah, I, I had that. one. I had one in the first preseason game. I was. I got out. Got a cut block, which I'm, dude, I'm the worst cut blocker ever. Yeah, Ben Jones is pretty good. You think he's good? 
Yeah, he likes doing it too much, though. It's like, come on, bro. Bro, you kind of playing on the outside. Like, you on, were playing on the outside in practice the last couple days. I was. How did you feel about it? Well, I didn't really go against you because I'm, I'm a two, bro. I'm just out there, self-proclaimed <laughs> leader of the two. Twos, Listen dude. to that size. I'm a fucking a two. <laughs> I'm a two, dude. I'll tell you what, though, the two's been slaying it. We've been, we've been, we got pride. We got pride in the silver. How were the joint practices going? But dude, it's always a bloodbath. I people don't understand. That's like a that's like a game. That's worse yeah. than a game. And we don't get paid for it. You gotta. You gotta pay us going against Yeah, what if you got, <laughs> yo, that's free, you, that, that's free, free entertainment. entertainment. It's true, and, and the, the fights are extra. Yes, there were a couple of scuffles. Yeah, I wouldn't call. I'm, I'm, I'm with. I saw like somebody tweet like I follow Kenny V. I'm pretty close with Kenny V, and I saw him like you know fake news when yeah. Rabel, the GM. Oh man, the GM comes and tries like. You know, you're like, get that away from my players. And it's like, bro. Yo, John your, Robinson did get that? Get your players, man. Yo, that is hilarious. He did John that Robinson you? came out there? No, 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 not to me, to our players. Like, I was running over to grab the DBs because one of our DBs' face masks. I ain't going to say who, but his face Chung. mask was back here. Pat, Patrick, Patrick <laughs> Chung, 20, number 23. Yo, your boy, Chung, I'll tell you what. Him. That dude, I mean, he's a good football player. Don't get me wrong, whatever. Ha, ha, compliment. Here we go. And then, but also, this dude's in a red jersey during our joint practices, and he's like blitzing. He's like hitting our running backs, and I'm like, yo, that is true. That is, if you're hurt, which is a red jersey, like you can't be. Yeah, you can't be running around. I heard that's how stuff got started too, because he was punch, like trying to punch the ball out of Tannehill. Really? He was like, we yeah, Tannehill was like jogging, about that. jogging on the sidelines, right? That. And then yeah. he comes up, he comes up behind and like punched it out, and that's what like literally started the fight the next day. Because yeah. like people held that in, right, right, right. But right. then we talked about it. Like, we, we, you can't do that's a that's a quarterback, you know. Right. You can't you can't do dude, that, dude. If somebody touched Brady like that, oh yeah, we we, we uh, as no, players, legit, there'd like, be actual Patriots like like Minutemen would come out with their muskets and actually shoot. <laughs> if Tom Brady I, got yes. blinked at no, too no, hard, no, you guys us. have Minutemen. Uh, you have like people in helicopters up there. Exactly. You would have all Patriots. Fans like Pat, Pat's Nation coming at you. Yeah, you don't dude. Want that. We had a lot of Patriot fans at practice. Yeah. Yo, I would like to see. I would have liked to have witnessed John. How is that as players, bro? I mean, I know y'all beat us last year. What, whatever. Do you, you see know? us? Does John not just yeah. beat? Like, well, I think we're, we're Super Bowl champions. Okay, we beat the Super Bowl champions. Y'all acted like it. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, yeah, hey, let me let it be known, dude. We got a player in here riding the coattails of one two. And, and, and oh. all of a sudden, oh, wait, hey, we're the best team. You guys didn't have Tom Brady, then what? What you mean? What you mean? What, you, what do you mean what I mean, dude? If you guys didn't have Tom Brady. The same conversation that goes Would you guys everywhere. be as relevant since 2001? Would you guys be the, the New England Patriots but why without Tom Brady? But why is a question? You're right, it is a question. No, 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 because you know, know, know why it's a question? Because it's our bus! And we don't even it's know our what that bus. is, though. You can't even, you can say all, you can say, oh, what if we had a good good quarterback you know what i mean yeah we have a good quarterback yeah, yeah. but how many what times? if we had a great quarterback how about that ouch we have, we have, we have a great quarterback I'm just, you have the greatest football player of all oh, time on your you, team how many times if we had the greatest football player of all time on our team yeah okay we would have what i'm saying that's yeah a, I'm, I'm i'm not saying i'm because i think Mariota's good quarterback i'm saying what if you had tom brady would you be like oh you know, what's your argument then? Like, you can't. You're saying argue. it. You're no, saying we were to win the Super Bowl. I get what with you're Tom saying. With Tom Brady, I'm just saying you can't. Like, what's the argument at that point? It's like, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, we could sit here all day and argue, but I don't know what that's like without him. Well, yeah, I do. I, yeah, I personally, do. I personally know what it, it is because I play with Stafford. But I think Stafford's an elite quarterback. You I think, think there was other things the behind what? the scenes that was going on with them in a in a coaching level. You know, like a that, front office coaching level? You're saying with Stafford I, I or Brady? Say, I'm saying with with Stafford yeah. in, in that situation. Yeah. being in that, I mean, we were also going back to my rookie year. We were also up 17-0 against the Cowboys, and they throw a BS flag for face guarding against Pettigrew, and that kind of changed the whole momentum of the game. Flashback the next week, they get it against Green Bay, and then, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I feel you. How many so. times at night, at night time though, you're sitting there with your wife and you're like, man, I'm glad we got one, two on the squad. Dude. Like one, two bailed us out tonight, <laughs> sweetheart, again. You know, but the thing is like, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like that Falcon Super Bowl, like, hey, whoa, 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 Hey, that Falcon Super Bowl whoa. though, Tom Hold up. Brady, bro. Hold up. Your defense, we, defense played out. Can we, can we pump the brakes on so. that game? 
Can we get a little more love? Listen, the, dude. For you, the, you for were the on the absolutely. Hey, you, you were, you were on the feet. You were on the field. You didn't have as good of a view as we did. We had, we had a whole TV. View. Yeah, we got to see the I, whole thing. I understand that, but we Chips only gave up twenty one points to one of the greatest. No, that's no. You guys killed teams it. in ever. No, no. You I guys. Think no, this no, past no. year is more impressive. Oh, I agree, but I'm just saying. I go back to that Super Bowl, and I'm defensive too. Like, yo, yeah, relax with the defense. You, we throw the hands up. Yeah, and we had 21 points. I mean, he threw a pick six. We forget about that, do we? Wow. <laughs> you, you just threw Tom Brady under the bus, dude. I love T- on TB. The bus. He keeps it real, though. He's gonna tell you, I- I'm gonna give him the ball every time. I love yeah, my guy. He's a stud. Dude. I love. But my the thing guy. is, here's here's the deal. Is like, okay, hey, if make we, sure that mic's close to your mouth. Okay. My if bad. we if we <laughs> he join, gets so lean back. He's like, hey, my guy. I love my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy, man. <laughs> Yo, if we were if we did a joint practice, if you play for the Lions still, and we did a joint practice with the Lions, mm-hmm. no one's sitting over there going, "Yo, holy, that's kind of that's Matthew Stafford." No, if it, Matthew Stafford's a great yeah. football player, but like everybody, you even players on the Patriots are probably like, "Yeah, that's Tom that's Brady. fucking Tom Brady, dude." I mean, or does or does the novelty wear off to you after a while? I mean, when you're in it, I would say probably the, wears, wears, wears off, off yeah. a little bit. That's because you. Cause I look at him like go, that's my guy. Like I can go yeah. hang out with him if I need. Like I can call him on the phone and be like, "Okay, kept, TB, keep what, what to ahead. do?" You know? Yeah, I, I got it locked in. I yeah, no, no, kidding. I get no, that. Right. I get that, but I'm saying like, um, it's just it was it's so interesting to see because we've practiced against Tampa Bay last year. Okay. You go in from practice, and you just talk about the guys you go against. You know, my rookie year, we went to Atlanta, and you just talk about the guys you go against. Like, I remember being, I mean, just yesterday, we were sitting over there. We get in the locker room, and there's the half the team's talking about Tom Brady this, Tom Brady that. It's, That's it's, crazy. And, and I don't think it has anything to say about our team. I, our team is very competitive and stuff like that, but it has so much to say about what he's done yeah. in his career. Like, how incredible is that? Like, all the stuff, like, you know, the 199 pick. Do you ever get sick of hearing that? Like, no. oh, Tom Brady's the I, this, I, that, and the I, other. I still think he's underappreciated. Yeah. Because we sit here and we, we you look at other sports, like, you know, you look at golf, Tiger Woods, how right. he's on this pedestal. Mm-hmm. You see Roger Federer, tennis on this pedestal, LeBron James, and Tom is still... He They're doesn't still get mentioned like with that. other dudes, yeah. But he doesn't get like I think he's like starting that, to, though. No, I, I don't think, don't think he's starting to be called the GOAT. I'm, I think he's starting to be referred to as the goat. Yeah, well, after the Super Bowl because he got six, right? Now everyone's got that Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan comparison, but at the yeah. same time, it's like Tom's been. I mean, they did the NFL For top one hundred twenty years, and he's number yeah. six. Yes, dude. Six. They did the top one. This is the first time ever in the top one hundred he's been under top five, right? I don't know. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Something like that. Well, since they've been doing the show or whatever. So I had another another question for you guys. Yeah. So I don't know if you saw when LeBron James a while ago on his show, The Shop, was talking about Tom Brady saying he's not the greatest because he doesn't play defense. Oh, and, come on. And no, no, no. Like, Tom, Tom's one of the, like, the best. LeBron said LeBron, that about Tom. like, said he, he doesn't play defense. So, he, you know, yeah, he's, yeah. he shouldn't be included with the greatest or whatever. And I'm like, that's for me, I'm like, man, as a football player, the fact that he doesn't understand the game, he does play defense. Yeah. And you don't even know it. Like, That's in my so mind, true. it's way harder to win six rings on a fucking NFL team than it is to win a six rings on an NBA team. I agree. Because yeah, there's, so there's so many more moving over. parts. Yeah. One you got yeah, 11 guys the in the game. field at one time, not just five. Yeah. At the That's same crazy. time, I'm like, he puts so much pressure on the other team's offense. So he's already playing defense, bef- like, mentally before you even know. Think about how much pressure he puts on another team when he scores. Like, in, I'll never forget the Chargers game this last uh, Super Bowl run. That's cool. I get to say Super Bowl runs. (laughs) 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 Solid flex on the buzz. Uh, Solid flex. The Chargers game when he go, you know, him and his team, you know, the offense clinic teach tape, you know, drive the ball, and it's 14 nothing, And you're telling me he don't play defense? I mean, fourteen yeah. nothing in the first quarter. Like, the coaches on the sideline got to be what the hell? I, w- I got to throw the ball already. I mean, offenses go go toward the end of the fourth quarter, and I know me personally as a defensive player, and you're playing against the Patriots, and you're like, shit, our offense scored too quickly. <laughs> you know what I mean? You look up, you see like a minute seventeen, you're like, 
okay, well, Tom Brady's going out there, so this is definitely doable for them. We're, we're not out of the yeah, we're not out of the That's where you guys thrive the most is uh, those two minute situations. Yeah, that was a huge point of emphasis going in our game against you guys uh, last year. But yeah, man, to, you he to got the ball at any time. You're like shit. I know. We played you guys in the divisional round when you guys went on. You had different energy in that game. The the playoff. You game think so? Versus, oh hell yeah. Yeah, man. I wonder why too, because we we were in the. I agree. I I don't disagree with what you're saying. Okay. I think there was a definite, a definite different energy when we played you guys in the why? playoffs compared to. I'm I'm. That's a great question. Were you I at think, home, so it's a different. No, because I think I think we you know even though we've been just nine and just I say just nine and seven being nine and seven is still pretty good. But not, you, I'm talking to you guys right now. I still think that's really good. It's solid, but like. We've always been a team that it's not nine and seven and eight home wins. You know what I'm saying? We we do well on the road. We do play well and we do show mm-hmm. up on the road. But I don't know that divisional round. I don't know if Pete guys were tired or deflated. It's it was the first time we made the playoffs since I've been there. But are you it's guys, the only time I, I've ever made the playoffs. Well, it was crazy because your energy in that game, you didn't say a word. But then this regular season game at home, oh, you thought my... he was the best friends with the McCordy twins when they scored. Oh, you're talking, you're talking about, about Taylor? Oh, you're talking yeah. about me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. I'm no, I saw I'm talking about personal. No, I think you're talking about a team. No, I, I think um, I must have not saw say, you very oh, much. You were, were you a rookie? No, were you a rookie you that year, though? No, there was two years ago. No, I think I thought I thought overall our energy was better in the game last year as opposed to the divisional game two years ago. That's what I was talking about. Okay. But me, like, I I like to believe, and I mean, you can say, I, I'm obviously you're saying different, but I like to believe I bring the same energy every game, but you're saying I was way more talkative in the first one. Oh, yeah. Well, well this, I'm sorry, last year's one. Because la- last year's one, we were up 17 to 3. Like, when you're getting your ass beat, you can't really be, like, joking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, have that bubbly personality or, like, talking shit. Them little witty responses. You can't really do that, like... Yeah. What do you say when you're down? You guys are kicking our asses from the get go. We scored the first seven points. But did you hear us talking ever to you? No, not so really. You, but I'm a talker. Were in you general. guys talking? Were you talking? No. Yeah, I, but you just. I just gotta go like this. All right, you know, look at this. <laughs> you know I, mean? I, I don't need to say nothing at that point. Yeah. There's only one player I talked to. How shitty was it feeling, though? Because I think what sucked more for you guys is knowing you got beat like that going into a bye week. Yeah, that was rough. It was rough. How was that next week? You could imagine. I know, dude. I was one to imagine when well, that you, happened. You have Rabel. You had Rabel. You could only imagine. It's like the older generation of him. Yeah. Brutal. Dude, going into that week, though, you felt like you felt you just felt the energy was different. Like, we have to win this game because, you know, you got like <laughs> you got uh, Malcolm Butler, Logan Ryan, Vrabel. Yeah. You got all these guys Deion that came Lewis. from the Patriots. Yeah. Deion Lewis. Yeah. A lot to prove. Yeah. And it was like... Yeah, y'all had good crazy. energy. I yeah. respect it. We didn't. Yeah, I wonder why. Why don't you think Diaz was kind of sleeping on us? You think, huh? No, well, I, I always think you guys. Are he good. had his bye week plans probably planned out I, already. No, I can't do that. I'm not, I, I <laughs> can't do that. Um, not not with the New England. Yeah, maybe with the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> Lions, I was zero and seven one year going in there. Oh, like, dude, yeah. Oh, uh, dude, you were you were making off season plans. I'm like, I can't even get on the field. <laughs> 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 we're zero and seven. I can't even play, man. I was I'm trash. You didn't like to play for the Lions, huh? You know, it's a it, you know, it's open here. We yeah, yeah. have safe space. I actually enjoyed it because I learned so much from my OGs. Like I had, my locker is awesome. I had to my right, I had Reggie Bush, and then to my left, I had DeAndre Levy. And if you know any stories about DeAndre Levy, you would know they're two opposites. You know, Reggie, you know, fancy, fancy. He's a black Barbie doll. Right. And then you got DeAndre Levy who goes in the Amazon for 10 days and lives off the land like yeah total opposite yeah, that's crazy so I'm right in the middle and I'm like I want to I want to live right in between these dudes so it was good perspective when you say he lived off the land you mean he actually would go like yeah where, like where would he go so I'll never forget he went 10 days to the Amazon um oh his gra- hold on side note greatest his greatest thing he did on a football field was break Joe Pa's leg that's what really? He told me. That's the greatest oh thing ever done. Oh my god! <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> no Wisconsin, way. He played for Wisconsin. Yeah. And broke his leg, and he's like, "That's the greatest." He like thing he I've would do some dude field. in the sidelines, or he like yeah. tackled dude. So he was. I think he was like running and tackled Buddy and rolled up on Joe Pa or whatever and broke, and his, broke leg. his leg. He was the guy. Remember how he went up in the box and yeah. was like 
watching the games, he was like, "That's my that's his greatest, greatest achievement. achievement." He put him up in the box. Field. Yeah, I broke. I broke that dirtbag's leg. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, he ain't wrong. He ain't yeah, wrong at all. Was, dude, when wrong. he said that, I was like, "My man, that's why I love you, baby." Dude, well, that's crazy. Yeah. And then, so back to the story, he he would go ten days, and he would um, he he would go out with a guy, a guide, and a native, and live off the land in the Amazon jungle for ten days. No Jesus way, yeah. Christ. And dude, just, that's dangerous. But There's he, so many things in the Amazon jungle, and he dude. And came, he would come, he hey, would 240, you come stressful. back at 200, 200 pounds, like, looking like he played receiver or DB. Lean. And he would gain all that weight back or what? You know, machine. And then, he, you know, wild, you, got, dude. you could do uh, DeAndre Levy um, with the airplane, too. He had, like, a little thing tied to him, and he crawled on top of the airplane while it's going off, just like. Yo, who is it? Oh, is this Joe Paw's thing? Oh. Oh, broke it. Broke his shit, dude. That. You have to see it coming. Sorry. I mean, oh, oh. High percent of Lou the knee, Holtz. too. Shout Lou out my Holtz. guy, DeAndre. You had to yeah, see it look coming. at all. Oh, he's hurting. Elijah, you can't get out with the knee. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Oh, you my God. should have saw that coming. Yeah, you got to look at DeAndre Levy and pull up the airplane, too. Yo, what is? How many years does this guy play in the league? Levy played eight, a little bit, man. He was nine. he was good too. Yeah, what he play? Underrated. Yeah, no, he was really he, good. He he's like your boy. Uh, I compare him to Levante a little bit. Yeah, no love, but just a ball. Dude, Levante gets no love, man. No, lo I mean, we know we know why. Yeah, we don't need to say why. Why why, why? why? Levante David? Yeah. Levante. I have nothing wrong with the team. They're actually my favorite team I ever played for, but huh. there is something to do with a small, like small market. Like that. Well, is yeah, very you're true. not. It all depends. We that, like the Tennessee Titans. Like it's not an insult. Like we're a small, medium market. <clears throat> yeah, but you your know? defense and your O line had been really good. Yeah, we we've had success. In the and past, Levante's for sure. also an outside backer in a four three. I think that hurts him too because mm -hmm. you're going up against all you guys who get sacks and shit like that. Yeah, but I don't I don't get love like that either because I I don't have a position I don't. I, That's I true. Still, you kind of so create a lot of your own brand and love and shit like that. Like yeah. Levante's kind of like, he's like an Ed Reed, just doesn't talk much, doesn't say much, just goes yeah. about his business. That's and like he is Gilmore, just a beast, dude. Gilmore Gillylock doesn't say a word, just an assassin. You think uh, Gilly got the number one corner in the top one hundred, didn't he? I don't know, but I believe he did just, over Jalen. And... Yo, did you see the video? He played for the Bills before, right? Mm -hmm. Do you see when he left the Bills and he said, "I'm excited because my mom gets to see me play on TV now," and then like the Bills <laughs> local, like not the Bills, like Buffalo's local news was like, "Oh, in case his mom's watching, like this is what they missed out on." They showed him like him just getting burned. Like over and over again, like ten <laughs> reps in a row, like different oh, teams yeah. throughout uh -oh. the four years. Which you know, everyone gets got, dude. I give up sacks, like you miss tackles, yeah. like Will's not playing. Like we all have things that shit happens to us, and so like this dude, <laughs> this dude is uh, was oh. just getting shown getting like killed, and they literally the, like the news reporter was laughing his ass off. And now he's the number one quarter according to PFFs. Yo, yeah, you do you, you pay attention stuff. to PFF? I think, what, pays I think everybody pays like, attention. You, how much credit do you give PFF? How Zero. Much, okay. Like I if, think that's if, a consensus if throughout a the coach league. coach looks at that, I, I'm i disappointed. Yeah. Like the fact that you brought up some dude that's behind, some probably a dude that's never played football and said, mm, I don't know what the I don't know what he told the lineman or I don't know what the back end's doing. It must be man or they're they, I I can tell it's cover three. They missed the assignment. How do you know I'm not I'm not my coach is telling me something right. different than right. what you're you based know, on you're the formation you're on. seeing. You know what yeah. I mean? What is I this? What is this crazy. going on right now? Glutathione. If you watch this is glutathione BFF, for those of you who are watching this video. Oh yeah, thinking oh, yeah. what's Lawan up to? This is just glutathione. Okay. Antioxidant. Mm -hmm. All right, get your what was what was it? Vitamin C, yeah, B12, C, magnesium. Yeah. Everyone just calm the fuck down. All right. How's your he's going for going? another. He's Yo, going for another. You know how appeal works. He was going for another four games right now, guys. In case you're watching over here. Hey, Will's Will's just shooting at the fucking stars right now, trying to get a good burn in right now. <laughs> that was uh, solid. I actually that was like that burn. little tweet interaction y'all yeah, had on yeah, the burns. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'll tell you something about Will that's so weird to me. He always wants to say this, and this isn't true, but go ahead. Well, I mean, don't take away from it, but it is true. Like, Will's got a real issue. Like, 
it's not an issue. He's got like a weird fetish. You know, like people are into feet or like buttholes or whatever, like or getting tied up. Like that's <laughs> Will's just into getting like shit on verb. Like he loves when people verbally just shit on him. Like you would say I'll, verbally I'll say dominatrix. Some, I'll say yeah. Say he's a verbal, <laughs> some verbal dominatrix. dominatrix. Complex himself some verbal dominatrix. <laughs> we'll be at like a coffee shop or whatever, and I'll, I'll like say something to him, like insult him. He'll be like, oh dude, that's good. Use that in the bus later. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, all right, but I, dude, I don't whatever. think I enjoy getting shit on. I, I, I tell him like, yo, I just. I can't help but I see the humor and shit. And okay. like it doesn't matter. I like that. You know I got a good like, question follow for me you enough. guys then. Yeah. So in a locker room, do you hear some of the best comebacks and like people getting roasted on than you hear like on in a movie or like around town? Like dudes getting chirped on and stuff? Yeah, like in a locker room, like when dudes are going back and forth, just like talking shit, shooting the shit, like yeah. burning each other or whatever. I swear I've heard some of the best like comebacks and like people getting shitted on you're talking about in the locker room yeah where people are like getting sensitive like to me that's what like that's what i'll miss when i step away from the game that'll be it right there those dudes because me i'm thinking i want people i want people to hear all the dynamic of like you know everybody chirping at each other yes so yeah, and the only yeah. people Solid that Taylor. only people that know are people that play. Yeah, yeah. So you, right. like when we get in a setting like this with dudes, like you know exactly what I'm talking about. But people that don't, they're like, they they may never get it. Right. So I, I wish they they could. I know. I, it's like, crazy. See, I don't. I almost feel like people that if they were like people who work on the outs like the outside world, nine to five jobs and stuff like that. Yeah. If they were in the locker room, they'd be look legit depressed. <laughs> Because like you're you got HR, you got well you can't say penis, you can't say that, don't say boobs, you know what I'm saying? Like you have all these things you can and can't say in the locker room, dude. It is a free for all. Oh, I, absolute been, I have not heard all, dude. I have not heard the N word so much in my life, dude. <laughs> Where I'm like literally dudes are calling me, and I'm like yo bro, I'm just I'm so white. <laughs> yeah, I'm white as fuck. Like, like you walk around and guys just say, hey, that's white people shit. Yeah. Or like, hey, that's black people shit right yeah, there. Yeah. You say it out there, hey, calm. Yo, 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 hey, don't say that out here, man. Like, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, you to the real I'm world. Not the like, hey, calm room. down, calm down. That's crazy. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not Russian, dude. Do you even know? Do you even understand that reference? I honestly don't even really uh, watch, have never really seen Rockies. Does that make you upset? So, uh, is it, is it, can I say that too? Like, I'm not a big, yeah, I'm not a big Rocky guy. You know the best thing too I'm is, so- you know, Will sorry. was going to kill I'm us sorry. right now. I know. He was going to kill I'm, me, I'm, but I'm you gonna, came in. This gonna, is America. This no, is all I was going to do. No, no, there's no. This is America. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking like, yo, how in the fuck do you not have Rocky in your resume of movies watched? Like I've seen it, but it's not something like where I'm like, okay, you need to go watch Rocky. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I don't, dude. I don't, like for me, I'm I'm suggesting Remember the Titans. Uh, like that's me. Yeah, I, I think Remember the Titans is solid. Yeah. Taylor, what are? I don't even want to get into that. Remember What's the up? Titans. That hockey movie. Uh, Gladiator. Goon. Gladiator solid. I watched some of the Goon Gladiator too. Solid. And Braveheart. Man what? on fire. Yeah, it just wasn't doing it for me. Have you seen the movie Goon? No. It's on Netflix, dude. It's the most inspirational sports movie you ever watched in your no, entire life. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. It's incredible, bro. That's so Are good. Are you a, Ho- a Hoosiers fan? Hoosiers? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Hoosiers? Uh, Indiana? Yeah. No, I went to Michigan. <laughs> You're Hoosiers. one of those? Nah, like a Hoosier uh, movie. Because I, mean, I have Hoosiers. like, why is oh, that I such a big that. deal oh, yeah. with like Ohio State and Michigan? Did you go? I don't know. Then you don't I, know. I, which is fine. <laughs> I, I, I also, I went to a school where it's yeah. like called the Holy War, you know. And BYU? Yeah. Great. If you want to bring all your jokes, you know, go ahead. I'm used to it. But, he said, go ahead. I mean, listen, I'm not um, going to attack a religion, a religious school know, right here on a podcast. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like it, though. I, I think it's entertaining. Um, yeah, just what so, made you choose BYU over everywhere else? Because I saw you got recruited by all the Pac-12. My mom. Really? Yeah. We want to get into this. <laughs> yeah, if you got a story, you got something you want to tell. Um, like what? Like you know, I saw you were all state linebacker, all state wide receiver. Talk to him. People don't and, know. Yeah, people don't know that. Yeah. And uh, you chose BYU, and you were recruited by all of them. Yeah. Um, I got arrested three times, so that that might flip this switch. Three on. times. Three times. Sorry, we've all been arrested. Yeah. Uh, I had a. Yeah, but let's hear. <laughs> maybe not for what I you. Kinda, I kind of I, I like it's told like, Will earlier like. I had a DUI and I had like a high speed chase with it, which was. Could it have been on cops? Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Damn, what were yeah. you doing? Are you like you ran from the cops? Yes. Oh, so you were like, drunk, dr- drunk? No, I wasn't. I was just like scared of the situation. And for me, I'm always thinking about somebody. Like I'm always trying to take care of somebody. Like I, I feel like I'm. That's what I'm proud about. Always yeah. taking care of family. I had my one of my boys in the car, and I didn't want him getting in trouble. So I said, "Oh, I'm gonna get you to where you can get out of the car and." You, you, I won't say your name. I'll just say I, Damn, I was. That's a boy move. I was, that is a boy I move. I was dropping you off, you know, from the party or whatever. You know, I, I talked about it. I had enough time in this situation to talk about it. And, you know, it is what it is. Did you, were you able to drop him off? Yes. But you want to hear the crazy Appreciate thing it. of the whole thing? Yeah. Is that there, it wasn't just me. There was two cars. We were pulling the e-brake. So we were like coming around a corner and there was there's an overpass and there was a um there was a vehicle pulled over already so there was already like two to three cop cars pulled this car o- over and i don't know why you need two or three cop cars or yeah. whatever to pull one car over but you did and next thing you know two the there was a car behind me pulling the e-brake too so there was two of us i went i kept going i like said whatever and the car behind us stopped so during that time they asked if they knew us in the front and they they told on us damn and so buddy and they ended up knocking on his door like hey we know you were in the car da, 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 da. so it is damn it is. and so there were did other schools like pull their offers and yeah. stuff yeah oh yeah cal so, did sc stop i mean could go on for a long sc time. pulled yeah they like stopped recruiting me. They were really? literally like gonna offer, and then they were on the phone and were like, "We're not offering anymore. We're gonna." Pull wasn't it. secretive enough. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Not. It wasn't secretive enough. Like, Can we hide this? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Pull the offer. Yeah. Pull the, we can't. We can't get away with that. Uh, we gotta <laughs> <Yeah>. go. <laughs> so you ended up going to BYU. Did you like yeah. it there? I did. I did. I I say I did because one, I was treated like royalty there. Uh, That's right. And two. Uh, I was focused on, I'm, I met my beautiful wife there, and two, I was focused on just getting to the NFL because I I'd matured, I felt like I matured so much to just focus on these four years, get in, get out. Yeah. That's kind of the. Do you think you would? Did you have that same mentality before you got in trouble, or did, did nah, it happen nah, after? No, nah, no, It happened so you after. Think, do you think that actually helped you get in trouble like that? Sitting out, yeah, it made yeah. me realize. I missed the game because I sat out that uh, my whatever freshman year, I had a gray shirt or whatever. So I had to like watch football on TV and I didn't know how much I loved football until like that moment yeah. kind of hit. Like I needed to dive into this thing and yeah. focus up. That's cool. Yeah. Fast forward that to when you get drafted because you were drafted in the second round. Yeah. And D- Detroit had traded up to yeah. draft you. They gave away a pick and moved up to draft you. And then, you kind of battle with injuries a little bit your rookie year, mm-hmm. um, and you can talk about that. But that sucked. You kind of had like you weren't who you you weren't who you became yeah. on the Patriots. Yeah. And so what was kind of what happened with Detroit that made it different when you hit the ground run with New England? Because you got to New England, you had your first pick, you started nine games, mm-hmm. and then you got re up the next year on another contract when you didn't necessarily have all those accolades or play that much in Detroit. Yeah. I think for me, I was actually shocked Detroit picked me because I'm like, I, I played a 3-4 in college and kind of bounced around all four spots and then um, got drafted to Detroit and they played a 4-3. Plus in front of me, like I mentioned, my OG, DeAndre Levy and Steven Tolick, two dudes that are, you know, yeah, really, they're really beasts. good. They're beasts at what they do. And then another dude that plays in – for the Raiders now to hear Whitehead who was in front of me. So then, you know, you throw me in there. I'm, you know, the fourth guy off the bench, basically, yeah, yeah. In, in the spot. So, there's, you know, today's world, there's only two backers out there. Right. And then they trade off for, you know, I got to hear in front of me. So that whole first year, I'm trying to fight to even get on special teams. Be active, injured. Exactly. Be active for just the roster. And then the second year, the same thing. So, you know, one of the players goes down and Tahir gets bumped in there. And you throw in another player, Josh Bynes, to the mix, who also got playing time. And I'm kind of just lost in the shuffle. So I never really, to me, I never really got like a full chance, like thrown into the fire like some of the other rookies do, like 
this guy right here thrown into the fire, succeeded. Eric Ebron thrown into the fire. Um, Justin Gilbert, who was drafted my year, yeah. thrown into the fire and then realized it wasn't a good move. You know, there's Wait, CJ Justin, Justin Gilbert? Well, yeah. you, you were a 2014 draft. Yes. Oh, yeah. dude. He didn't even know, man. No, I didn't that's, know. That's, 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 that's what? That's disappointing. Not it's disrespectful. That's He's very disappointing. Is it disrespectful, dude? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm I don't, sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Don't be right? sorry when you're not. Yeah, because I'm not hearing, hearing like I'm hearing like Eric Ebron. Okay, not my draft class. Just Justin Gilbert came my draft class. Yeah, I'm like, oh shit, same draft class. Yeah, yeah. Justin Gilbert. Didn't how you about, go like 17 or 12? Oh, it's just, okay. okay we're even now. I was 11. 11. Just equal equal <laughs> disrespect. I was off by now. one. E equal disrespect. disrespect. Yeah, dude. Um. I thought I was gonna go to Detroit for a second, and then Ebron pick, got picked, and I was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> I was so stoked not to get picked by them. But why though? I don't know, dude. Because the thing. Okay, we so here's the good. deal. We were good. We were good. Here's here's my frustrating thing. So I like I I have a knack of taking things very personal, and so I had a I got in trouble. I got I got not really arrested. I got paper arrested, but I had an assault case coming out of college, for uh, for an Ohio State kid, whatever. And the 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 coaching staff at Michigan was like, hey man, we know you you're a good guy. We know you didn't do it. We got your back. We played the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl which is in Arizona, in Tempe, Arizona, ASU Stadium, for my last game. I'm from Arizona. It's actually my last high school game was in the same stadium. So same, you know, end of high school, same stadium, end of college. I was like, what a cool full circle thing. And, you know, right before then, the it was right after they, like, pressed charges or whatever. Well, Michigan's like, we got your back. Bro, they forgot me after the game. They, the bus is left without me. <laughs> <laughs> With, the Michigan just left. And then um, wow. once, once uh, like, all the stuff came out, like, charges being pressed on me, I'm, like, in the middle of, like, going through, like, you know, the draft process. And I call – I try to call them. No one would return my phone calls. Like, I, I, my agents reached out to them. No one, no one helped out. So I was, like, super bitter. So I was, like – I was, like, I don't even want – I don't even want to be around the state of Michigan anymore right now. And I held that for a little bit until I talked to Steve Hutchinson, who – played for the titans his last one or two years and retired and helped out the front office and he like he gave me a different perspective on the whole thing which really helped out but yeah i was down on michigan hard so when 10 came up i was like don't i was i was so worried i was gonna get drafted <laughs> so you still want to go back to the state of michigan at imagine all. being no. worried to get picked oh, number dude. 10 all bro all right bros you guys did a great job yeah i know here we go i was, drafted Wait, in, the eighth I was, the I was in the eighth round i right? know There's, Hey, here we I'm go. a. I, I was blessed to get in the second round, but I wasn't like mad. Like, oh, can't believe I didn't go in the first round. I you know, know, dude. I dude, went in the second. I know. I come I across a some. bitch. I know. I get it. I get it. And there's some. I'm not you, the same. I'm not you, this way now. It's, it's okay to talk. You about. also get some okay. of those boys. I, okay, respect. Yeah. It's okay. You also get some of those boys who are drafting like the second, and they're so bitter towards life because they think like. Oh, combine doesn't mean everything. <laughs> Meaning, like, yo, you were drafted in the second round. They're like, and not the first. Like, combine don't matter. It don't matter where you come from. Like, yo, you're not fucking. What are you talking about? You got drafted in the second I round. I was totally that way. I was like, oh, I wasn't the first overall pick. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was the OJ combine. Oh, Jadavian Clowney. I ain't, ain't gonna lie. This shit, bro. Yeah, Jadavian. Were you bitter? At Detroit, when all this stuff was happening, when you were kind of in, just in the mix, and yes. you weren't necessarily getting I, the opportunity. I, to sit here and say I was happy, I was very, very bitter. Um, just how they handled the situation. When you have a coach tell you to your face, "We don't know where to put you." I, I, right. What? What do you even like? What? Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine being in the? You've worked your whole life to get to the NFL and have a coach tell you. We don't know where to put you. We don't know what to do with you. Is that your rookie year? Yeah. Rookie, so, so, second, and third. When so who who picked you? Like, who was the reason why? The there was general the head manager. Coach, general manager yeah. was like, this guy. And the head coach. But and so your position coach is like, we don't know what to do the with you. position buddy. coach, and I don't think the DC messed with me. That's tough. That's I'm like, that's hard. Because I'm not, I'm not big on, like, I hate it when people are like, oh, well, like, I see people that are also tall. And they come up to me like, you play sports? And I'm like, yeah, I play sports. And I'm like, what are you doing? I play football. Man, you know, I could have played, but my coach didn't like me, this, that, and the other. And, I, and I'm always like, sure, bud. Sure, like, I had somebody sure, come bud. up to me, and they were like, um, man, if I was your height, I'd be in the NBA. And I looked at them, and I go, probably not. Probably probably wouldn't be. 
<laughs> but I get, but like, if you get, if you get drafted in the second round, if you get drafted in the second round, the coach is like, yeah, sure. you do whatever you want, dude. You can take a shit in the bus if you want. Yeah. It, like, uh, you get like drafted in the second round, and your coach looks at you and goes, "We don't know what to do with you." What a shitty feeling that is, dude. Yeah, it it really was because I'm like, here I sacrifice so much, and to hear that, I'm kind of like, I, it made me like not like football. The for business a while. side of it, yeah. for sure. I'm like, what the hell? Like I I walk into this and I I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to play like I see people get drafted in the first or the second there are all those dudes are playing yeah. and here I'm like treated like I I'm at the bottom of the barrel right did it uh, change like your routine about everything like oh, that yeah. bitterness kind of come in and probably different from when you when you went to the Patriots were you so were you ecstatic that you got traded I was actually pissed because I was finally playing. I was oh, starting. Detroit, you were yeah. finally playing? I started, and so uh, I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, finally got my shot, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I finally got my got shot, baby. Seven, seven games later, on a Tuesday, taking my wife to um, the hospital for some – I don't remember. She and, okay? Yeah, she oh, good? she's great. Right. We're, we're expecting. We got one on the way. Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations. Thank First you. one? That's awesome. Yes, we're Dude. surprised. So yeah. what's your guess? Guesses? Guesses? Uh, I'm going – you're going to have a boy. Okay. I'm saying boy too. Hell yeah, my God! You want, <laughs> hey, you want a boy? The you boys. want a boy? The boy! There we go. Hey, you want a boy? Oh yeah, hell yeah! Hell, I'm also wanna... another shout out to what is what is his name? Brendan Shop. Shop. Yeah, I heard his little adoption thing. I'm adopted too. Yeah. So they um, test you before you got adopted or what? <laughs> they, they did. Yeah. Yeah. Blindside yeah. adoption. Yeah. They combined. My, my mom. My mom went to like the pick of the litter and said no no yes <laughs> I, was, I was 10 pounds so she was like oh, oh yeah this one's yeah, gonna this, make it yeah, this we'll one's go. gonna be the winner we'll go oh, that's him, so <laughs> funny dude yeah that's funny michael that chandler. is hilarious yeah michael chandler the brendan shop one yeah. Yeah. yeah michael chandler yeah he was sitting right here yeah. see i i, I watch i watch the yeah. boy, dude. Yeah. i thought you were just chirping me at practice but he was legit like Hey, what are the boys, Taylor? The boys. I walked up in the huddle. I was like, this fucking guy talking to me, bro. Who the fuck is Because he jumped guy, off bro? sides. I was like, for the boys. Oh, <laughs> oh you know, oh, I, yes, you know what? I remember dude. what it was. Yeah. I remember it was a pass down. We were yeah. uh, passing. And I did the, the thing I do. Yeah. And the ref called on me, but they said they should have called it on the defensive guy. Just but saying, they didn't. But, but they so didn't. They, you they, can't take it back. So it doesn't matter. They gave you a false start, and he goes, yeah. the boys. Yeah, he goes, That's no. hilarious. Well, I, I had a false start. I stood up, and I was like, point at the ref. Like, it was him, right? And they're like, no. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was like. He flipped me off, I was too. circling around. <laughs> so Taylor. He, he, he so went like, Taylor, dude. he said. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that so what I did, Taylor, bro? Dude. Show him what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, does your team just hate me, or what's the deal? I feel like you guys are. Yo, I mean, we, Taylor, majority of people would think you're an asshole. Like, if I, I was on yes, your team, I'm the question. Thing, I am an asshole. I'm well, going to say not yes. I'm an asshole, but I'm, 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 yeah. I'm an asshole. It's like he, if you're on yes. the other team, you're like, yo, I don't like that dude. But yeah. if he was on your team, you would like him. Oh, yeah, for but sure. But he, he's I against you, him. so he's an asshole. Unless he blocks you all the way to the sideline in, like, a helmet-only period. I go 100% every day. I don't tell you. You know? I only know one speed, bro. All right? Hey. There's there is one on every team. Yeah. There is one on every. We team, got dude. Jules, baby. That's how Jules is. <laughs> Jules is. Were you, were, Jules is our Taylor. Were you on say. the Patriots when uh, we joined practice with the Redskins? No, I was. I, that was the year. Julian after. and yeah, those dudes go fucking hard, bro. I'm talking. You go hard in the paint. Yeah, yeah, Edelman, Brady, they're all fucking yelling and cussing and shit during seven on seven, pissed about fucking everything. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, holy shit, boys, we like need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> Uh, Dude, you weren't that? fucking an inch over. Get your ass lined up. Yeah. It's crazy, Take it bro. up the red line. Yeah. Jesus, Tommy. <laughs> Who Tom, Tom yells like that? Who you had? Yeah. Were you? You were there with Mason Foster. Yeah. You Mason. had Josh Norman yet? Yeah, Mason, oh, Josh. That, that uh, was fun. All those boys, man. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see him get stiff arm? Yeah, yeah, he got the I saw. I was gonna <laughs> say his, his head bounced off the ground, bro. <laughs> hey, well, someone like three dudes came Josh. in this morning. Shout out Josh. Shout hey, out did you see what Josh, my son? Did you see what um, happened in Hank, Tennessee? No. Josh Norman, you, somebody, a fan, after the whole Taylor did the little bow and arrow at Josh Norman last year after the game and pissed Josh off. Um, did you get fined for that? No, I didn't get fined. Pull, have you seen it? No, I haven't. You pulled that up because fan, don't you get fined for like the taunting? arrow? Taunting? The arrow. Well, that thing. was his bit. It was after the game was over. 
So I guess that has something to do with it. But oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I saw this where he came up to you after the game. No, I came up to him. Oh, oh you that's did. different. Yo, over a million views, dude. You're famous. Uh, I'm, I, think famous I think I'm just famous yo. for being an asshole. This Look, that, it. that was it. <laughs> he pissed him off, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that, hey, hey that, but anyway, hey, the story, arrow got kind of fancy. You're going to like this. Let it go? Yeah, it was. You're going to like this. So a fan, a, a Titans fan, gets on hangten.com, hang hangtn.com and buys a Taylor Lewan is your dad shirt because they sell Taylor Lewan is your dad and sends it to the Redskins facility and addresses it to Josh, Josh Norman. Wow. So Josh gets it. He sees it this off season. And after your deal, Taylor, Josh sends Taylor to hang 10. They, they tried calling Ryan and figuring out who sent it because they thought it was you. Uh, uh-huh. And they're trying to find the God, person I who did it. And they're like, for privacy, we can't give you that information. So basically what someone associated with Josh did, they sent, his uh, assistant. yeah, his assistant. They sent a, a piss cup, an empty piss cup in a package to to, 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 to Hank Tim to Ryan. Since they, did, they couldn't figure out who it was, they just sent it to the, the T-shirt company. Yo, and they figured that you that's know, a just, solid chirp. That's dude. a savage. That's move, a solid dude. little chirp. I'm not going to lie. He's decent at that. Was like, that chirping? Yes, he's decent. I'm going to give him decent. Yeah, yeah, I'll give him decent. 4.5 for sure, dude. Decent. Because the thing is, yeah, like. He's okay, a, so it's first entertainment. Off, like, yeah, he is entertaining. And that's like, what do we all chirp for? Like, anyway, we get dude to get in the other guy's head, and it's entertaining yes. right, to everybody give around. Give the people yes. what they want. Now, I, I, I love chirping for those both those reasons, but like. I didn't like Josh when we played them. He was the way he handled himself with our receivers. What I saw him do to Derrick Henry, and that's why I did that. Will says he's a great guy. Yeah. He's actually a I'm, really good dude. I think he, which I'm not against. Yeah. Like I'm sure, I'm sure he is a good dude. Yeah. I, I want him on the bus. But the, at the same time, in the between those lines, good dudes. Yeah, it goes, that goes out. Yeah. That goes out the oh, window. Out the window. Dude. Yeah. Jay knows the boy though. If man. someone, t- if someone was like, "Hey, Taylor, Taylor's a really nice guy," on the field, I'd be pissed. He's a sweetheart on the field. Oh, he's a, he, oh Taylor, sweet. I love him to death. Played against him last year. It was awesome. <laughs> it was a great like, time. He's okay. so annoying. I'll never forget. We're at the PAT after they scored a touchdown. Taylor's like, the McCordy twins are back. He's like, can I be part of it? Can I be the triplet? Yeah, he triplet. Was like, Cocoa butter. Ruck- Cocoa butter commercials. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, the Rutgers. The Rutgers, aren't they? He, like some At the other wing position, he was like, aren't they like division – one double A. I was like, damn. Better than what he said to Jay. And I'm just like, man, shut the fuck up. In my head. <laughs> and you're like, why'd you say it to me? Yeah. Why'd you say it? Because I'm, I'm, what I'm, different what energy, I do, bro. Hey, you had a different energy no, the first the, game I played I look at the you. scoreboard and I'm like, see? What different energy? Like, I can't, I can't be like, what's up, motherfuckers? No, but this Down is last year, so y'all were losing. <laughs> y'all were losing. Yeah. At this yeah. one. Yeah. So you're probably losing. just mad that they we, probably just we scored. Getting, we got trashed. Like, man, I wish this dude would shut the fuck up. Yes. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Better than what he said to Jalen and the Jaguars. Yeah, Jaylen how was, was that little Jaylen interview? Was, on the bus was there some little animosity Jaylen, Jaylen's while he was cool, dude. I actually, oh, yeah, he's a boy, I fucking, man. Look at this fucking thing. Jalen goes I'm, I'm, on, on, I'm the PAT, now. on the PAT. On the PAT, Jalen's like, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Because Sarah's like, yeah, we'll suck your dick. Wait, what? Or like, oh, oh wait, or uh, Malik Collins. Oh, he, <laughs> it was Malik, <laughs> Malik Jackson. Pause? Malik Jackson. He's like, yeah, I bet that thing's so small I can fit it all in my mouth. Who said that? Isn't that what you said? Isn't that whoa, what happened? Whoa, dude. Yeah, I said Aren't that. Aren't you <laughs> He said, whoa, dude. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, no, here's the deal. Here's what really happened. So, well, I already said this on the Jalen podcast, but like, it's mental warfare out there, dude. And it's a really homophobic sport. <laughs> Like, let's just, be, it is what just it is. Call I, it am, it is man. I am not a homophobic person at all. I have no issue with it. If a, if a, um, a woman, you know, says, Hey, you're attractive. Thank you so much. If a guy says I'm attractive, thank you. Thank you also. Cause guess what? It's a compliment. I'll take them. Um, but for some reason the NFL is super homophobic. I don't understand it. But like these dudes are like, we're going from the first quarter to the second quarter. So we're kind of like walking down to like, the, we're like on the 30, so we have to go the other 30. And uh, Malik Jackson's like, yeah, N word this, N word that, you're an N word, roll N words. I was like, I was like, is this a song? Like, what the hell? And he's like telling me how shitty I am at football. And I turn around, I was like, listen, dude, you keep talking like that, I'm gonna suck your dick. And he like, he looked back and he's like, what? And then Ben Jones on <laughs> cue, so Ben Jones, he says I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> ben Jones, Ben Jones, yeah, out of nowhere. Like, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> continue the story, please. I hope it gets better. Ben Jones, our center, comes out of nowhere and goes, and we swallow that shit around here too, bud. 
It was like, oh. Just and, hey, he, hey, he wasn't the same. <laughs> the rest of the game, he wasn't the same. Brandon Trawick, did I tell the story on with yeah. uh, I told this one? Yep. I don't know if I want to double down on stories, but we'll do it anyway. Brandon Trawick played for the, the Raiders, and we were on PAT field goal, and I said something to him about <laughs> that kind of same stuff. So it's like, should I say this again? Yeah. And so, like, he Please comes. no. He God, comes, stop. Yeah, he comes, on, he stop. comes to the team the next year. And he asked one of the dudes on the team, he actually asked Ben Jones. He's like, hey, what's the deal with 77? <laughs> Ben's like, what do you mean? Like, that's Taylor. He's like, nah, man, is he gay. like a... Uh, he gay? Man, is he gay? Like, what's the deal? What's the deal with him? And Ben's like, oh, yeah, you didn't know? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's gay. It's cool, though. It's whatever. And so BT's all uncomfortable. So I wrote a note that said, what was his number? What was BT's number? Um, 41. 40, yeah, 41. 41. So it was like 241. Like, I've seen you in the locker room. Uh, I want to get to know you better. Um, you know, let's get together sometime or something like that. Like, oh, love, Taylor, you know. love, love 77. I put it, I took it, some tape and I put it in his locker. And I, like, the BDBs were walking in and I go in the bathroom and I just hear, what the fuck? <laughs> From BT, dude. Yo, he what was the so, fuck? Yo, what the fuck? I was like, oh, man. But yeah, dude, it's mental warfare out there, right? <laughs> but, but yeah, anyway. Gotta, gotta get him any way you can. <laughs> Cal, yeah. he ain't got nothing to say, dude. Yeah, dude. yeah, I ain't worried about it, man. I have, I have a wife, kid, two-year-old daughter. She's awesome. That's awesome. You know? Congrats. Yeah. But um, not What's gay. her name? Her name is Wynn. Wynn Rebel is her name. She's she's so The dope. Bean. We the Bean. Her, call her The Bean, dude. She's rad. Yeah. When you were tra- – they just had a little note up there. When you were traded – what a terrible segue. When you were tra- uh, traded – for a seventh round pick where you're like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. Were you pissed? Yeah, I still yeah. talk shit about it. Like, Do you really? Well, who now, they, no, who no, they pick with that pick? Brad, who they pick with that pick? Brad Kaya, Kaya the Miami Ooh. quarterback. Oh. I'll never forget. Pissed. Yeah, I was pissed. Seventh rounder, dude. Well, and two, I'm going to, I was going to New England where they had Pro Bowler, Hightower, Ninko, and Collins. So I'm like, Man, back to the bench, you know? Back to the old oh, days, shit. boys. Yeah, those guys are studs, Yeah, huh? beast. Yo, Hightower's a nice-ass dude. I didn't think he'd be a, a nice guy. He's not. No. Not on the, well, off the no, field. Yeah, off the field, he's a cool guy. Like, him and Logan are boys. He's from Franklin. Yeah. yeah. So he's just down the he road. He reps Tennessee. Bro. Yeah. And so he was... Hightower's from was Tennessee? At, yeah. yeah. Oh. He was at the NFL. The fact that he didn't go to Tennessee, that just shows you Tennessee. They, yeah. Nice. No loyalty. Ouch. Yeah, Bro. burn. But also, nah, whatever. Um, he was at this draft thing. He was a super cool dude. Like, I still hit our bus. Dude, this thing's mint. Do not dent this bus. He was super. He was a super nice guy, and I, I don't know why I didn't expect that. But um, maybe because he was really mean when we played. He that dude hit a motherfucker now. Oh, bro! I saw him. I think I was watching the Atlanta film. And I saw him just fucking uncoil on some pulling guard. I yeah. thought he fucking killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know, like, you yeah, know when guards go to pull on him, they like, cause you like if you get a play, you're pulling. I don't pull, so I don't. But if I assume if you if you're pulling, you look over at the guy like, all right, who's the mic on this play? Fuck, it's high tower, dude. And they gotta get in their stance, knowing he's a they're about to pull dude. for them. Dude, Yo, he's like two seventy five, bro. He's, he's like, not, he's, but I, I don't. I don't he he's he looks there. like it, but he's not though. He's, What's he weigh? 255. Really? Yeah. That's still a big ass Shoot, linebacker. When he was playing on that ankle, yeah. he looked like he was about 275. <laughs> He's like, like <laughs> Man, damn, my he dog's out there. <laughs> my dog's out there hurting or something. You said he was he playing on that ankle? <laughs> yeah. Dropping in pass covers. I'm like, yeah, they need to get him out. <laughs> he can rush the pass for a little bit, too. Oh, yeah, yeah bro. He's, He's a smash. Yeah. Rabba. He don't get enough love either. Which High super- tower? Yes. Who's the most underrated guy in the Patriots? Ooh. Ooh, here we go. I can't just name one person, bro. Yeah, I, I think you guys you are all to. you guys are all two extent. I put, except my, for you I put and myself in there. Pat. I put myself in there. I put high in there. I put um, Adam Butler, the nose. Yeah, he he's a you know he's, he's a, seventy or ninety. Seventy. Seventy. Um, yeah. I put uh, Chung and McCourty. Yeah. When you win three rings and people don't know who you are, is really disrespectful to yeah. me. Like that's yeah. disrespect. It's true, but I mean, you also have the goat. You also when you have Tom I, Brady I and Bill, it's like your shadow, dude. How are I, you going to respect? But at the same time, you people need to like watch the tape. Like, yeah. what is other offenses are looking at what they're doing on defense, and they're they're doing freakish things. Like what the secondary does 
how they're manipulating coverages is like you you don't find that everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you named about three. Yeah. But I love that you put yourself up top. Got to. Did you did like uh, you kind of came onto the scene with these last few years with the Patriots? What which which Super Bowl would you say is your favorite? The comeback or fucking holding the, the fucking Rams at nine points? I'm gonna be like. Say what Tom says. Oh, the next say it, one, dude. baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, dude. Same. I think probably the the same, Rams, bro. just because. I mean, I don't know the the you were, the you, you were, you were probably more involved too. in the Rams one though, right? Because I, I was off. too. I just had different jo- a different job. I was more covering in yeah. the Falcons game versus. Uh, I played obviously more in the in the this last one but in the falcons game i played a shit ton i was just covering the tight end and back more yeah and you balled the afc championship game yeah that was pretty insane yeah my man had like a forced fumble 10 two, sa- two, two sacks. tackles two sacks baby 10 and sacks off. yeah two Jeez. sacks 10 tackles i know yeah, he started off bad. saying 10 sacks 10, ten sacks, sacks. imagine golden imagine. jacket here i come let's get <laughs> Yo, what, when you win that Super Bowl, man, you just feel on top of the fucking world. Yeah, yo, what do I can you do tell through your that, tweeting. Bro? I can tell through your pictures. I can, like, yo, my <laughs> man is living the dream right now. Yeah, thanks to as you guys say, Tom. You know, thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> shout, no out, yeah. shout out, shout out, TB12, TB12, go blue. Oh man. No, but what, what was that? What's that like, man? I mean, take us through some of that. I saw you eating pizza, rating pizza with the El Presidente from Barstool. Yeah. Did you like doing that? Was that a dope little experience? Yeah, I've, I've known him for a little bit now. It was cool to finally, you know, chit chat with him. Um, also, Michigan. Yeah, he loves his he, Michigan. Poor noise, Michigan guy. Yeah, he went yeah. to Michigan. Poor I, a this Michigan is a good guy. question. So, t- I, I haven't got to ask anybody since you guys watch film or whatever. What do your coaches say when you know they're like, okay, we're playing the Pats? defense or whatever right. who 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 we got to look out for you know does yeah, that make no sense doubt. well we I have, don't i don't mean to like no i mean you squad means are probably question. similar squad means yeah. are probably similar cousin three keys out. to success yeah it's sitting up there with the clicker <laughs> fucking pick a hole hey taylor like what are we fucking doing how much yeah. are we paying does that you? get under your skin when he nah, calls you it out? really doesn't the thing is that i think it not this year at all um last year maybe a little bit because i think my ego was a little flared up last year signing a contract and stuff like that but one thing that's like, one thing that sucks is like you know, like football, you're never it's you're never perfect, and so there's always yeah. something else. You could have a hell of a game, but be like, yeah, but these two no. plays I could have had back. You know, I wish I did this. Keeping instead. you up at night, like, yeah, and you're just like, fuck, man. I hope they don't say anything about that. Like, <laughs> yeah. But that shit actually keeps you on your toes though, which I kind of I can appreciate. Like once you take your ego out of it, which was which was hard for me to do at first, but I'm like, you know, these dudes at the end of the day, they're just trying to help it's however they want to motivate it's up to them yeah. which i think it's funny after a while like Raves will kill some dudes yeah, bro he people, will kill dude. dudes but to answer your question like when we when we uh looked at your defense <laughs> exactly what y'all oh, talking fuck. about they, yeah. our, our team's not big in like pointing out like individual guys like when malarkey was here before they'd have like hey game wreckers and then they have like the two three dudes on on defense two three guys on offense and two three dudes on special teams like hey these are the dudes that make this defense and offense work they don't really do that when, when it comes to the patriots it's like you guys run so many different looks it's like you got a lot to, you got to be ready for this look or that look. are they going to go jam are they going to go uh odd fronts on this are they going to go to a four three all of a sudden you know what coverages are they running a lot of stuff to me i, I keep everything simple like what are my rules yeah and i know my rules so i'm good and, and mm-hmm. those types of things and but you guys are like during practice you guys ran um three four looks with a with a with a nickel well your nickel at uh sam linebacker or mike linebacker okay. and it was like i don't know maybe no you did <laughs> i'm just letting you guys know, know they did i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you guys had chung you guys had chung in the box at, at mike <laughs> <laughs> just <letting> you know. <laughs> but i'm saying like those are the types of things that can like that I think people look for the most. Like, I mean, is that am I get me in trouble? Probably not because everybody sees it, you know. Uh-huh. But those no, are I those mean, are the main not, things. You're not saying anything from. Yeah, no, I, I, I well, yeah, you never want to give anything away, but we don't really, That's you know, I and said, the, I especially, don't know. Hey, well, said, especially hey, the preseason too. Like, preseason people think, oh, this is this is going to determine how good the team's going to be. Oh, this is it's yeah. always like 
hey, we're going to go out and we're going to run base versus their 11. You know what I'm saying? You guys are going to run your base defense versus their 11 just to see how it goes. Yeah. You know, or run nickel against, uh, you know, 13 personnel or something like that just to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And so, like, people, I think people judge a little too much. It's kind of just seeing what, what guys' strengths are and weaknesses are going in. And guys like you who obviously going to start, obviously going to play well. Let's see what are his weaknesses. Let's see how he does this year compared to last year type of things. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get that. Yeah. What type of stuff, you know? What is it with the Titans? Yeah, what do they say about us, bro? What are the three keys to success? We don't do that. You don't do that? No, because... Does everybody, is that everybody's asshole a little tight when you, got, you guys have the squad meeting and he's got the clicker? Maybe not for you as much anymore, but when you're first there, oh, uh, yeah. probably as a rookie, like, I feel bad for those rookies, man. <laughs> I'd be bummed out if I got drafted by the Patriots. I know, like, man, I'm just here for four years. I'm gonna go play somewhere else. That's, that's, <laughs> not, I just know that. that's not true, bro. There's a lot of dudes that have played there that are still there. Yeah, you guys just like, that, yeah, that's true too. I mean, time. it's crazy how like, you know the old song and dance of the Pats. Like, oh, they just drafted uh, a you know, a packing boy at Kroger. Like he's the next you know Hall of Famer or whatever. Like as long as Steve Beast don't <laughs> Yeah, you see all that stuff on the internet all the time. Don't believe the hype, baby. Yeah, Yo, you were an all-state <laughs> receiver. T TB can make you a good receiver. I know. You, you know, Rabel takes all the credit. I'm about to smash his record this year. You might see that. Oh, okay. Woo! Okay. You about right. to see me at tight end. <laughs> about to be Randy Moss up in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you know, hey, he says uh, Jeff Ruby is overrated. Yeah, yes. whatever, dude. Yes. Did you, what would you eat sushi? No. What'd you get? I, I, do you I, remember I've, I've what had you got? The best sushi in the world. Like I'm in Boston and then Los Angeles in the off season. Yeah, like, you're killing it. But I will say the, um, the wagyu. It is it is good entertainment because I had the a lady there was singing or whatever. Yeah, you so had the, was, you said the bar area. Yeah, yeah. Would you you just go by yourself or no, what? No, I had uh, when we played. Y'all had uh, my one of my agents out here. Oh he, yeah. He treated me. You know. Pay thirty grand for that dinner. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, I go there all the time. I like that place, man. That's what you pay your agent for is a dinner, right? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Hey, when, the, when my agents are like, "Hey, let's go to dinner," I'm like, "You bet, <laughs> you bet, I'll shout be there, out man." My agent. I'll get like two extra steaks. Shout out my agent. Get something to go to. Yep, that's the way to do it, man. Yeah. Look at that, just in time, dude. Yeah, so, the, so busting with the boys podcast. It's not a busting with the boys podcast without the train going by. Why? Because this is where we parked, and this is where it's at, and there's a train right next to us. That's what it is. A little bit of adversity. I would love to see Will try to, like, right now, since he's in such fucking good shape, <laughs> run and try what to get on the train. Yo, I could do that, no problem. I don't know. No I can see, you talk, look, is, at is look at that. I look at that. I kind of see speed. gravel. But I see gravel over there, yeah, so I might see. Well. I've seen Will run, too. He's not straight line fast. It's four, five, six on pro day. No four, five, field. six on pro day, hand timed. No, laser. Because they don't do laser at pro days. Record, bro. record, ten yard dash in Nebraska for linebackers. Nebraska. So did you? So ever. you didn't go to um, the combine? No, I wasn't. Really? I wasn't a combine guy. Mm. Straight from the fucking Yo, is that my gutter, hat? dude. Straight from the gutter. I respect that. I appreciate that. Was, 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 I used to respect it, but Will brings be? it up all the time. Do I? All the time. He doesn't stop talking about it. Well, you know, us undrafted guys. You know how we are. Well, that's because how many times you hear about him talking? In the, I think every podcast has what what selection he was in the first round. <laughs> and then yeah, he, yeah t the disappointing. <laughs> I was disappointed. I was and disappointed in myself, too. I just sit here, and I'm like, hey, man. Came Another, up against the odds, bro. Another one for me that's annoying when someone's made it 10 years. And they refer yeah, to it bro. all the time. Like, I'm 10 years in. And they act like, they act like nothing like... You ain't nothing unless you play double ten, digits. Ten Yo, like, we had a dude like that my rookie dude. year. Shout out to Chris yeah, Spencer. <laughs> Chris Spencer, he did that dude. He was like a he was a first round pick for Seattle, and he was like, just call me a rookie every day. And he's like, when you make it ten years, I'm ten years in. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Like, you know exactly what I'm talking out, about. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm ten years hey, in. Chris Spencer, calm the fuck down, bud. <laughs> All right. I'm like, Just, I respect whoa. that. You made it 10 years, but you don't need to tell me every day. But oh, you, it's definitely respectable. If you I make, guess. It, if you make it eight years, meh. You make it nine years, meh. You make it 10 years, yo. Mm -hmm. Hey, that Beyond dude's a something. stud, Those man. Guys you made it a decade, bro. Oh, that's rad. But then, like, you got to hear about it all the time. It's like, no. Uh, yeah. That is very true. Would you play 10? Are you playing 10 or what? No. Did you play 10? No. You, so you don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. This would be your last year, no matter what. 
No. What if you have a breakout season? That's not true. What if yeah, you have I'm 120 playing. tackles and yeah. 10 sacks? I'm playing. I'm getting signed. I'm re-upping. And re-upping? then I'm going to talk about how I was undrafted. Came from the fucking gutter. <laughs> and I'm still doing this thing. <laughs> still in the At gutter. At 30, baby. <laughs> You're 30. Going to be this year. Going to be September what? 19th. God. Sheesh. Die soon, dude. You're going <laughs> to die so soon. Die. Doesn't that a how little? How old are you? I'm 28. But doesn't that a little like? Yeah. That yeah. hurts a little bit. It does, man. When you know you're like on the back end of stuff, like, man, you're not getting them, you're not getting none of them back. Yeah, you're about oh. to be thirty. The boy's about to be thirty. When I hit twenty five, I started to like yeah. feel like a little self doubt. Like, <sighs> just oh. so you're gonna get even closer, dude. Every, every day, birthday. every day, you're closer to thirty and farther away from twenty. Mm-hmm. Like you're on that other half. Mm-hmm. I just turned twenty eight, July twenty second. Go and get me something next year if you want. Right. And I just thought, I just thought, dude, like this is it, like. You've peaked, mm-hmm. and you're now on the down slope. Mm. When's your birthday? March 26th. Yeah, I got a few. I got a couple more good ones. Yeah. How long do you want to play? I don't 10. know yet. I I think it's hit ten, and we'll see. That's what, always been the what goal. What year are you in now? I'm in six. I apologize. Six. 2014 draft, homework. bro. Do your homework. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to put it together, but I was like, I'll just ask the question. 2014 fucking draft. Six. Yeah. We're one year behind you. But we have just as many credit seasons as you, Mr. P Squad. <laughs> <laughs> that had to be. Dude, that wasn't for anybody else but Will. Dude, Will hey, needed that. He loves it. Uh, I respect P Squad. is fucking yeah. brutal, dude. I had to play both sides of the ball all practice. You played fullback. Fullback and getting tight up. end. Hey, okay, listen. I, hang on, hang on. Don't disrespect me, number one. <laughs> I pumped you for all state wide receiver, and I was trying to bite my tongue, but I was also an all state wide receiver. <laughs> First team? First team. Second team. Sorry, sorry, second team. <laughs> sorry, I was like I was like in, excited in for a minute. In what state? Missouri. <laughs> hey, when I was in Nebraska and we were talking about me being all state you're, in Missouri. You're all they, state they just called team in Missouri. <laughs> Hey, and you repping that. Hey, to repping. The grave, I'm baby. talking. You, you know, you're a linebacker in the league, and you people want to talk about your non athletic ability, and you want to bring up the all state receiver. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, Second what state did you play in? Missouri, dude. That's Nevada. Hilarious. The fuck goes on in Nevada? Steven Jackson. Okay, DeMarco we're just going to name Murray. guys. Like, I'm sure we can bring up Chris from Missouri. Yeah, but, but, but name them. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. You can't. <laughs> I can at least name four. It's dudes. hilarious how much of a joke Missouri is, dude. Hey, type in Missouri NFL football players. <laughs> no, don't. We have no more time left of this fucking podcast. You're right. You're right. We're oh, 65 we minutes in. Oh, we are. Yeah, that We're is 65 hilarious, minutes. Sorry. Hilarious, dude. That was good. I hope dude. that that's gonna Holy make it. That's, yeah. gonna, that's gonna, gonna make it. it right. When I was in Nebraska, they just call since it was Missouri. They just call me All Street. Like, what the? F- do you guys play seven man out there? Like, you guys just play on oh, Street. Comp was All Street wide receiver. Did you play oh, seven yes. man? No, get the fuck! It's a fucking disrespect. Yo, I love, I love the way you laugh, dude. Uh, the way you laugh is hilarious. What? Uh, what we'll to oh get him on again God. in the off season? All right, you have a foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. I, I would love to talk about that. It's VanoyValorFoundation dot org. If you want to check it out, mm. uh, we work with since I'm adopted, my wife, her dad, and brother adopted. So we, oh, wow. we work with adoption, foster care, and struggling youth in the communities. And we just try to uh, strengthen them for success and whatever it is they want to do. Uh, this year, our goal is to touch 5,000 uh, foster care. Uh, and we do a big Christmas tree giveaway where we give 253 Christmas trees, gifts, ornaments, lights, um, food, and then just try to have them enjoy christmas and people can help Very that cool. cause by yeah. going to your website every yeah. time and they can donate there or you know just follow uh, follow us um, i'm gonna start a youtube uh coming for the week one i, I don't have all that detail yet but i'll have it on my instagram uh, yeah. and i'm gonna do food reviews i do a ticket giveaway uh where i go and surprise people uh that i that touch you know have yeah have touched me like no, you know that have influenced that. Yeah, you influenced yeah, me yeah, yeah. In, in a way and um my first one they don't even know it's coming they probably won't watch this but it's going to be uh twin brothers that work at my favorite cafe in boston i'm going to go give them tickets and jerseys to my game that's, that's dope, rad dude. Yeah. very cool yeah. very very cool where can you. people find you on social media you personally uh kvn underscore oh three or at real kyle van noy uh, for the instagram 
Let's fucking go. There. Yeah. At real. Yeah. Kyle Van Oy. Yeah, that wasn't There's my so many view. Kyle Van Oy's uh, fucking yeah. fakes out there. He's no got to say real. Yeah. He's, he's got so, so many fan pages, <laughs> He's got so bro. many fans. Right, Don't get it twisted. This is the real That's one. That's what happens when to. you play for the Patriots. Oh! There you go. Oh. Tom Brady. Tom Brady's kids. Yep. I'm busting with the boys. Yep. Hey, appreciate you coming on, man. All right, man. Appreciate it, man. That was cool. Thank you. Thank you.